Hey guys, so this is my very first book club book video. This is gonna be the very first book that I've chosen for our brand new book club. And I think by now a lot of people know the name of it. And if you don't know the name of our book club, it is called Turn the Page. And a few people on Instagram had suggested that I do a Facebook group for the book club. And that is what I did. I made a Facebook group. I will leave the link in the description below. And you're more than welcome to come on over and join the discussion. If you don't have Facebook, you can always join us on Instagram. If you're not a member of Instagram, you can feel free to just watch along here. I won't be reading a lot of the comments on here, so I'm not gonna be very interactive on these videos here. Um, but if you want to interact, I would encourage you to do so on Instagram or Facebook, more or less Facebook, because we're gonna be able to make video responses and hopefully get into great discussions about these books that we're gonna be reading. I picked the first book, um, then in a few weeks, I will, a couple weeks, I'll make a video and we, I will take suggestions for the next book, then we'll vote on it, and then that's how we'll do going moving forward of how we pick our next books. So I have never done a book club on the internet. I have read almost all, well, probably not all, but a good portion of the Oprah Book Club her selections. I have watched a lot of her shows and videos when she's discussed her books. So I've done kind of a lot of that kind of thing. I was a part of a book club in real life, but I've never had one online and I've never led one. So this is going to be kind of trial and error for me. So if I mess up or if I don't do things completely the way it should be, have patience with me. It's a learning process and I'm learning as I go. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I could do to improve, please definitely suggest. I am open to all suggestions and ideas and concepts. Feel free to let me know. So I've been trying to make this video for a few days now, and I've, I've brought up the idea of a book club probably at the end of August, I think. And then I just have been doing other videos and then just doing other things in my real life and haven't gotten around to making this video. Then today I decided today was gonna to be the day that I dedicated to putting out the first book club book video. And then today everything started going wrong. Then the latest thing that went wrong was my printer is out of paper. And I wanted to print out like the synopsis so I can read you about the book and some of the reviews on the book and then a little bit about the author. And it would be easier for me to have it printed out. So my printer is out of paper and I looked around all around my apartment. I know I have paper, but Gene has squirreled away my paper somewhere <laughs> and I don't know where it's at. He's at work and I can't call him right now. I did text him, but he hasn't answered my text. Um, he's not usually allowed to use the phone unless it's an emergency and paper is not, doesn't fall under the category of emergencies, I don't think. So I just had to do, make do with what I have. So I grabbed some notebook paper and stuck notebook paper in my printer and I printed it off on notebook paper. I was determined to get this video out today. Today is Wednesday, September the 16th, 2020. And by now it's going on to 12 o'clock. So you'll probably see this later in the afternoon, but it will be Wednesday when you see this. Um, so like I said, I printed out a little bit about the book. Let me show you the book and tell you what the book is in case you haven't seen it or heard my announcement. Our first book is going to be called Then She Was Gone and this is by Lisa Joel and it is a mystery kind of, a suspense drama. Um, I've just now started reading it. A lot of you guys have seen this have said that you've already finished reading it and that is cool. I can't wait to interact with you guys and talk about the book. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the book before we go into anything else. As I said, it's called Then She Was Gone by Lisa Joel, and you can pick this up at a number of places. I got mine on Amazon for under $9. I think it was like $8.67 or something like that. It was under $9. 
and it was originally released in 2017. And um, this came recommended by someone else that I'm friends with. She had got it as a gift and she planned on reading it and it looked really interesting. So I looked into it and I decided to get it for myself and read it. And so far, what I've read of it is very good. Um, let me read you the little synopsis of the book and then we'll get into some of the reviews and about the author. Ellie Mack was the perfect daughter. She was 15, the youngest of three, beloved by her parents, friends, and teachers, and half of a teenaged golden couple. Ellie was days away from an idyllic post-exam summer vacation with her whole life ahead of her. And then she was gone. Now her mother, Laurel Mack, is trying to put her life back together. It has been 10 years since her daughter disappeared, seven years since her marriage ended, and only months since the last clue in Ellie's case was unearthed. So when she meets an unexpectedly charming man in a cafe, no one is more surprised than Laurel at how quickly their flirtation develops into something deeper. Before she know it, she's meeting Floyd's daughter and his youngest Poppy takes Laurel's breath away. Because looking at Poppy is like looking at Ellie. And now the unanswered questions she's tried so hard to put to rest begin to haunt Laurel anew. Where did Ellie go? Did she really run away from home as the police have long suspected? Or was there something more sinister for the reason of, for her disappearance? Who is Floyd really? And why does his daughter remind Laurel so much of her own missing girl? Sounds very intriguing. I was hooked. I knew I wanted to read this book as soon as I read that. And some of the reviews, all the reviews are amazing for this book. Pop Sugar says, Then She Was Gone is a riveting thriller. Book List says, Jewel teases out her twisty plot at just the right places, leaving readers at the edge of their seats. There will surely be comparisons to novels such as Emma Donahue's Room from 2010, as well as Girl. But Jewel's latest really isn't at all derivative. Her multi-layered character, characters, are sheer perfection, and even the most astute thriller reader won't see where everything is going until the final threads are knotted. Those few who do guess early won't mind, as the pace and prose will keep them hooked. Publishers Weekly says, more than a whiff of the lovely blones wafts through this haunting domestic bestseller from Joel. Skillfully told by several narrators, Joel's gripping novel is emotionally re resonant story of loss, grief, and renewal. Book Reporter says, in addition to being a complex and genuinely suspenseful narrative, Then She Was Gone is a rich study of the ways in which people deal with grief and how post-trauma can continue to shape their decision-making and relationship years and decades later. Readers will truly be affected by Ellie's real story once it is revealed, and they will be satisfied by the hopeful yet bittersweet ending Jewel demonstrates once again that she has what it takes to genuinely shock, surprise, and move her readers. Another best-selling author, C.L. Taylor, says, what begins as a story about the mother of a missing girl starting a new relationship as she comes to terms with her grief morphs into a gripping, disturbing, and utterly fascinating tale about what really happened to young Ellie Mack. I've been a Lisa Jewell fan for a long time, and in this book, as with all of her others, she definitely weaves a compelling plot with an emotional depth that leaves you gasping. In Then She Was Gone, she has created a book that is dark and claustrophobic, but also heartfelt and moving. Then She Was Gone packs a huge emotional punch that will leave you winded. I love it. So finally, let me tell you a little bit about the author, Lisa Jewell. She's an internationally best-selling author of 17 novels, including this one, which is the New York Times bestseller, Then She Was Gone, and the UK Instant Sunday Times number one bestseller, The Family Upstairs, as well as 
other much loved novels such as Watching You, I Found You, The Girls in the Garden, and The House We Grew Up In. In total, her novels have sold more than two million copies across the English-speaking world, and her work has also been translated into 25 other languages. Lisa lives in London with her husband and their two daughters. You can connect with Lisa Joel on Twitter at Lisa Joel UK, as well as on Facebook at Lisa Joel Official. So I am very, very hooked on this book so far. I've only got a few chapters into it and I am addicted. So one of the things that I've noticed so far about the book with just the few chapters that I've read is that what I didn't realize is I just read the synopsis before I bought the book. I didn't read anything about the author or any other details, but it does take place in the UK. So a lot of the terminology is not the kind of terminology that we're used to in books by American authors. So a lot of the words are like mum and the flats and there's other a few other words that I was like, mm, wonder what this means and then I had to like Google the word to find out what they were referring to. Um, a lot of like they've referenced some of the foods and the foods are foods that are more towards the UK based kind of foods. So it's really interesting to read a book from a different standpoint other than just set in the United States. I don't remember ever reading a book that has been set anywhere other than the United States before. I've read a lot of books, um, and but this is really broadening my horizon by being able to read something that is not based in the United States. So that is very interesting as well, seeing a different perspective of an author's um, interpretation of a story from their country and not ours. So what I've decided to do is there are five parts to this book and I've decided to break the book down into parts and discuss the book with you guys. Each Monday I will release a video talking about the chapters that I've read. Now I'm going to do the first two parts because the first part is pretty small. So I'm going to do parts one and two next Monday, and that involves chapters one through, let me look, let me make sure I'm correct here, one through 26. That's what I'll be discussing next Monday. Um, if you've read the entire book, I would encourage you to um, not give away the ending. Let's not spoil it for others. After I post my video next Monday talking about parts one and two, chapters one through 26. I'll also be posting some questions over on Facebook and on Instagram so we can start discussing the book in detail and we can go from there. If you guys wanna post questions on different things that you wanna talk about, that's good too. For those of you who have already joined me over on Facebook, I think I have 35 followers already to the group. It is a private group, so I will have to approve you to join. Um, as with always, we won't be putting up with any nonsense. If you decide to want to make trouble or be a little rascal, you'll be removed from the group and blocked. Um, this is going to be a positive thing. I'm looking forward to this a lot. I love reading and I can't wait to start talking about this with you guys and getting your interpretation of the book and seeing your points of view and your thoughts on it. So I am going to ask you a question since we're not going to be discussing the actual book as of yet, quite yet. I am going to ask you a question and you guys can tell me what you guys think or what your opinions are. What do you guys use for bookmarks? I use all kinds of different things. I have some, I'll have to pull them out to show you next week when I, we start talking about the book. I have some bookmarks that I actually made myself out of comic strips. I cut the comic strips out of the paper, put them on the back of index cards and then laminated them. I have, I use, sometimes I use a dollar bill. Um, sometimes I use a picture, a laminated picture. Right now I'm using a sticker. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's called, it says sweater weather. I got this with my order when I ordered some essential oils and it was laying near my bed. So I just decided to go ahead and stick it in there. I also have some, I stick a lot of things in books. 
Here's a fun fact for you. When I was little and I would get money for my birthday or Christmas, I would stick my money in my books on my bookshelf. And then I would forget where I put them. And more times than not, I have thrown out money. My mom has when she's cleaned off my bookshelves. So when my mom finally figured out that's where I was stashing my money, she would always shake the books out and we would go through the books because I wouldn't remember what book I put my money in. I just remembered I would stick them in books. Um, so always shake your books out before you toss them or donate them. Or if you buy books from like Goodwill or anywhere else, look in your books because you might find some money. You never know. Um, I also have some coupons in my book that I've gotten in the mail. Kroger coupons. Um, so I just stick all kinds of random things in my book when I'm reading. And I don't like to mark in my book. I know a lot of people take notes in their books. I think my book is kind of sacred and I don't like to mark it up. Also, here's another question for you guys. Do you guys buy a physical copy or do you buy a digital copy? I have a Kindle and I do like my Kindle. I like, sometimes I like the convenience of it being lit and I can, in the winter time especially, I can get under the covers, put the cup blanket over my head when it's really cold and be like a little tent and read and it's already lit up. Um, but there's something about holding a physical copy of a book that I like a lot. So those are gonna be the first couple things that we discuss, kind of like a pre-discussion before we get into the book next week. And I hope you guys enjoy the book if you guys decide to read along. You still have time enough, especially if you have Prime or if you have a bookstore. I'm sure most people probably have bookstores in their towns or libraries might have this. I know somebody on Instagram said that they had requested it at their library and they were gonna be getting it in before long. So I am looking forward to discussing this with you. So for right now, that is our two questions for right now that we'll be discussing on Instagram and Facebook. What do you use as bookmarks for when you read? And also, do you like, skip my mind, do you like a physical copy of the book or do you like digital copies of the books that you read? And you can go ahead and leave your comments. You can go ahead and comment down below if you want to. Um, have a discussions with other subscribers. I won't be monitoring the comments hardly at all. I don't monitor comments hardly at all on my channel anymore. I do that all on Instagram. So if you want to interact with me with, about the book, definitely do that on Instagram or Facebook would be preferable. And I am so excited. I'm going to start rambling because I'm rambling by now. So I will talk to you guys soon. I'll have more videos coming this week about other things. But I'll see you guys on Monday for the next installment and to discuss the first two parts, the first 26 chapters of Then She Was Gone by Lisa Joel.